so the knife and this platform has been cleaned and sanitized, and we are ready to try some of these peppers. This one is the sweet banana, and I'm going to cut off a little sliver and try it. Going in. Hmm. Definitely a little more fibrous than you'd expect from pepper because it is so raw. But it definitely, you can feel the heat forming as well, even though it is a sweet one, just a little undercurrent of spice. Now let me try it alongside the hot. This one may not be even as hot as the sweet is, just because it's so much younger. I'll try a similar type of silver. Mmm. There is some heat, a lot more heat there. That one's actually a lot less fibrous. I'm thinking that this pepper is probably growing or ripened up a little better than this one, even though it does have more of a green color than this one has compared to the yellow color. But then again, it's a hot, so it would naturally develop a darker color, so different life's at age. So now I'll do little rings of the jalapeno and see what we got here. Cut away the first one, because I know up towards the top is where it's going to get a little spicier. So I want to see if we have any heat yet. There is a good little bit of heat there. That is tasty. Very fresh, very juicy. Compared to when you get a pe uh, pepper in the store, you don't really have that juiciness of like the fruit nat nature. It's much more like a vegetable. But this one has a, it's like biting into a tomato. And actually, yeah, there's a good amount of heat in this jalapeno. More so than the banana pepper. That one has a little bit less heat. Um, so this pepper must have been much more ripened, and it does look a little bit more uh, robust. This one still looks more vegetative and thick and fibrous. So yeah, these are, these are delicious, very early on in the season. These would be great to fry up, put on some nachos, put on pretty much anything. You can dry them up, you can ground them up into spice. You can pickle them, you can make hot sauce, so I'll probably use a lot of the jalapenos I get for hot sauce. And uh, I'm really looking forward to my serrano harvest. The serranos take a lot longer than the jalapenos, it look pretty similar, but I've got little buds of serranos right now where I've got these big jalapenos on there. And it's good to know that they're delicious as they are right now, even though they're not totally ripe. Still very good. I'm going to let those ripen on the vine a little bit longer, and I'm looking forward to getting more of these because they're delicious. I think this is the spicier one. Do a little more banana alongside it. That's a nice little fusion of flavors. Can't wait till we have more.